Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back at the prison. Now, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the first episode of the prison. If you haven't checked that out, I will link it in the description. So, we're ready to jump right in here. Now, you saw the intro. You saw that we have three new areas here today. We have a solitary confinement, we have a holding area, and we now have a yard. So, we're going to go over all of this here. Now, you see the sign to the left is still blank, and there's a reason because of that. I'm going to put a poll up in the top right corner, and you guys are going to vote on the name for the prison. Uh, there was a couple really good ones in there, and I have a feeling I know which one's going to win, but I do not want to say anything because I don't want to influence the vote. But anyways, let's go ahead and drive right back in the prison. Uh, we are here in our prison bus. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this one here. Uh, normally the second gate is closed, but for the sake of the episode, we're going to go ahead and pull right through and get to our main gate here. So remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel, and let's go open the main gate. Okay, so one of the first things you guys said about our main gate here is that it needs to have spinning lights and an alarm on it. Now, I kind of want to change the alarm up. I've been listening to the one I currently have on there, and I kind of want to make it maybe blip or maybe make some more noise. I'm going to go and let you guys hear it here. And I'll hit this. You'll see the uh, the lights activating. Uh, the alarm might need, need to be turned up a little bit. But, yeah, you guys said that the gate should open up slower. And you've got the spinning lights at the top now. We've got some tote bot heads hooked up to it. So, after it spins a little bit, the alarms will go off and the gate will slowly creak open. So, let's go ahead and get back into here real quick and show you guys the new holding area. So, we're going to hop back into our prison van here, or prison bus, I should say. Let's go ahead and get into here. And now, we're going to pull over to the right here. So, normally we would pull in. They're going to wait here for a second and close the front gates back up. That way, nobody, or if somebody has the opportunity to run, they're not going to do it. So, let's go ahead and close those. It's going to reverse that motion. And here is the new holding area. So you see the H for holding. Uh, let's see, how do we want to activate this? There's several ways to do this. Uh, the most common way, we're going to go ahead and open up these doors and have them ready to go. Uh, that way we can pull the bus in. Now the bus is a bit tricky to get in, but it is possible. It's kind of tight through here. I didn't realize how tight this area truly was. But yeah, you might have to do a couple point turn and you can pull right in. And we're going to pull in the bus, and let's go ahead and get all the way in here. Now, the procedure is going to be, we need to close those main doors before we let our prisoners out. So let's go ahead and hit the switch. Close those. Oh, that was pretty close. <laughs> Might have done a little bit of damage to the garage door. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to march our prisoners out. Let's go ahead and let them out here. Okay, so they're all cuffed up and they're ready to be led into the holding area. So we're going to open this up here. And we're going to line them up over here in this little yellow marked out area. And this will be where they'll start to process the prisoners. Uh, we're going to put them in this uh, temporary cell right here, which you can see. Now, the only way to open up a lot of the doors in here is going to be through the control room. This is a little secure area, so you'll have a guard back here. He's got all these buttons, and you can see all the controllers. These are linked to most of the doors in here. And he can control everything from inside of here, so... This will be the front door here. This one is going to be the main door that leads into the prison. And then he's got access to the holding cell here. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Holding cell is pretty basic. You've got a little camera up here, a little toilet sink area, and a bench. Now hopefully you wouldn't be keeping your prisoners in here too long. You just got to get them processed and get them ready to go to their cell blocks. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and close that back up. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this little area here. Uh, you can go out. There is a front door right here. Uh, if you notice the police car, that it's actually one of the police cars from the town, but I painted it up like a prison-style police car. A lot of you guys said you wanted to see that. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for the prison, comment below. Uh, there are several areas that I still need to do. I saw Armory was one of the top ones. Uh, the reason I didn't do that one yet is because I need it like a holding area, and I really need it like the solitary confinement area, so... I chose to do those. We'll probably do an armory next, and I think we might do something like a haunted cell block. Somebody said they wanted to see an abandoned one. I think that's actually a really good idea. So anyways, we're going to go check out this new area here. So this is the way the prisoners get into 
their little cell block areas. So we've got these holes. Now these things are really secure. The only thing I haven't quite finished yet is right here because I think I'm going to have another hole lead down to probably a cafeteria or something like that. But that's solitary confinement over there. We're going to check that out probably last. So this is the way to get to the cell blocks. We'll go and open up this. Now, I want to kind of make down or make a lockdown procedure for the prison. I would like to have some alarms set up and maybe ways to, uh, I don't know if I can get a way to activate a lot of these doors at once, but that would be pretty cool. But I've now sealed this whole area off and these are the cell blocks from the last episode. You've got cell block A over here and cell block B over here. And C is actually solitary confinement and we'll probably have a D and that one might be a little bit abandoned. I'm gonna debate on where I want to actually stick that. So anyways, say the prisoners, it's yard time. They need to get out, maybe get some exercise, throw around some basketballs, or just kind of just mingle with each other. Uh, we're gonna go into here. And here is your yard. So we've got this. Uh, we would probably, I don't know if they're allowed to go from the yard back to their cell blocks. I think they're pretty much pinned in this area for the time allotted, and then they're allowed to go back. Uh, let's go ahead and close this. This is a new sealed area back here. Uh, this is where the guards would be. This is how they get to their control towers in cell block A and B over there. So we'll go ahead and close that real quick. So yeah, here's the yard. Now, we've got a tower that overlooks the yard, so if you want to be a guard, you can stand up there, watch your prisoners. Uh, we also have security uh, cameras up here on these poles. I actually have a couple of these places. There's one by the main gate right now. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'm probably going to stick a couple more because I kind of like the way this tower looks and how the cameras kind of peer off of it and look at everything. Okay, so we do have some options here in the yard. We've got some picnic tables. So say if you just don't want to do anything, maybe, I don't know, it depends on what kind of prison this is. I I'm pretty sure they're allowed to maybe have some cards or something, play some cards out here on the table. Uh, you've got a little running track around the court here, uh, so say if you need to get some exercise, you just want to run around, you've got this, and that's what that's marked out for. Uh, we do have some exercise equipment here. Now, prisons, they're always kind of weird to me. To me, in like max security prisons, you wouldn't want to give somebody like access to like loose items. So say like a dumbbell or something, like I could picture that being used as a weapon. So I chose to go with something that you couldn't remove parts from, so you've got the little leg, exercise uh, area here and then you've got the uh, it's like a pull down bar to exercise your upper body so I think this is a much safer alternative to the uh, having dumbbells out and having prisoners possibly beat each other up with it so yeah we don't have that now over here we do have a basketball court so I figured this would be a pretty good little sport maybe they can go over here learn some teamwork kind of mingle with each other I think it looks actually pretty cool so yeah, you've got the basketball court here. It's actually marked out. Now it's probably, I would say this is a little smaller than your normal size uh, basketball court, but they're probably just thankful to have something like this in the yard. So we'll have that. Uh, Durf's got a basketball block. It's an actual round basketball, but I didn't spawn it in because uh, the prison itself is vanilla, except for the prison bus. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy that. That way you can download it and not have to worry about any mods. Uh, by the way, this updated map will be in the uh, description if you want to download it. Uh, I'm going to give you one more little view of this yard real quick. Alright, just in case you were wondering what type of view the guards got of the yard, he would stand up here. Now you're seeing these areas behind. I purposely left gaps in between the outer wall and the fenced areas where the prisoners are going to be. Because I'm still going to build some more pathways for the guards to freely walk around and not have to interact with the prisoners themselves. So, we're gonna go over to solitary confinement. That's our little final area. All right, so we're in the main area in front of the cell blocks here. Now, it's time to go to solitary confinement. Now, solitary confinement, there could be several reasons you're in there. You could have done something really bad, maybe you got into a fight with the prison guard, or they might be just protecting you. Say you're a target in the prison, so you would need to go back to the cell block back here. So this is going to be cell block C. And it's not as big as the other cell blocks because, of course, you don't need that, or hopefully you don't need that many solitary confinement uh, little cells. But you can see this one's got the tall fence around it. You've got the outer wall back there. This is a pretty secure site. And the security here as far as your cameras, your doors, 
it's really tight. So in order to get into solitary confinement, you need to go up to the main gate here and walk over and activate the sensor. The sensor is going to turn on some lights and it's going to open up this really secure door. So we're going to hit this. There it goes. So you can see everything's opening up. You've got a little camera here to identify who's trying to get into solitary confinement. So you've got that. And guess what? You've got another secure area here. There's another door. So you can see a cell block C right here. And we're going to walk up to these main doors. You need to go over here to the little intercom and check in. And here we go. And as you can see, there's bars on the doors. There's bars on the windows. So I would say this is a pretty secure area. Uh, say if a prison riot were ever to happen or something bad was to go on, this would probably be a spot where you would want to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, so this is the main lobby of solitary confinement. Over to the right, you can see the gate. This leads to the cells. Now, this gate, and a lot of times I wouldn't stick, say, buttons on these uh, gates to let them open. I would make you actually go to the stations to open them up, but for convenience for the video and for you guys, that's why there's a lot of switches and probably places there wouldn't be in a real prison. But, say if that switch wasn't there, you would need to be back here where the receptionist is. Uh, this is a little store area back here, or storage, and you've got some security back here. These are a bunch of monitors on the wall over here, but the receptionist would set right here. Now, you're probably wondering what's behind this door over here. This is a little secure area that controls all the, or houses all the controllers, and it's almost like a little uh, panic room back here, so say if something were to go wrong, uh, the staff can come back into this room. So, let's go ahead and activate the lights here, light this place up. And we need to get somebody in and out of solitary confinement, or maybe we need to bring them lunch. Uh, we would go ahead and hit this button here, and that's going to open the side gate. So that's open now. Let's go and open this. There we go. Okay, so these are some really secure cells, but these cells have several features on them. You'll notice there's three switches on each cell. Uh, there's several different things. So say if you have a violent criminal or somebody that you really can't interact with too much, uh, in order to get their food to them, you can click one of the buttons. I think it's this one here. You can click this button, slide in their tray, and give them it that way. Or say if you need to check in on them, you hit that bottom switch there, and you can look in the window to see what they're doing. Now, I think most solitary confinement cells probably have cameras in them. But say if the guard, or say if they need to enter in, say the prisoner's doing something wrong, you know, they can kind of keep an eye on them before they enter the room. Now, the top switch, of course, is to open the cell itself. And there's not much to these solitary confinement cells. I would hate to be locked into these. Actually, we can turn on the light here. We've got a light on the wall. There we go. Now you've got the top lights up. So yeah, this is a very, very basic cell. There's not much to do here. I think, from what I've read, solitary confinement, people will sit in there for like 23 hours a day, and they'll let them out in their own little yard for maybe an hour. Or say they'll let them out in the main yard for an hour by themselves. So yeah, that's uh, definitely not a fun place to be, but all these cells here, they're all exactly the same. So say if you're role playing with your friends, you can come in here and lock somebody in solitary confinement. So anyways, we're going to close that. But yeah, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode. Got quite a bit done here. I was actually surprised I was able to sit down. Uh, I was really busy this weekend and yeah, I was really surprised that we were able to sit down and get this much done, but Pretty happy with the progress we've been making on this. We'll probably have one more episode of this this weekend. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the final. I still think I'll probably might have two more of these. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions for big builds like this, let me know. Comment below because I'm actually really enjoying doing stuff like this in several parts. So if you have any other big mini town worlds like this that you would like to see, uh, comment below. Let me know. But anyways, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.